Hi there, this is Michael, and today we're going to go over a few of the screens that are available in Visual KPI. Let's take a look at the screen here. What are we looking at? On the left is a regular browser, and that's pointed to one of our Visual KPI servers in a different uh, city. And on the right is a Windows mobile device uh, connected by a wire to my uh, desktop here, and then I've got some software that lets me show you what's on that device. So right now we're looking at uh, a browser in both cases, the browser from the factory on the Windows mobile device and the browser, whatever we've chosen on the desktop here. Now, of course, um, that desktop browser could be anything, any kind of flavor that you like, whichever one's your favorite. The uh, real phone there, it could be anything. It could be a Blackberry, an iPhone, uh, Windows mobile, of course, uh, or really anything else, a Droid or, or a Nexus One. Uh, and I want you to know there's no software running on that device. It's strictly just a, a browser that comes from the factory. So therefore, there's no headaches for updating the, uh, the, the software on people's phones if we ever have an update. So let's take a look at the demo. Now, what we are showing uh, this is our standard power generation example, and it really could be anything. It could be retail sales or server performance, or it could be insurance workflow or anything. Um, doesn't really matter. It could even be your personal golf scores, but we're showing a power generation example. And in this case, the customer has chosen to uh, organize their data by region, so by geographical region. It doesn't really matter uh, how you carve up your data. It's kind of arbitrary, and it could have easily uh, been organized as by product line or by department or really anything else. Uh, they just chose geography, so let's uh, keep that in mind. Now, we're going to look at a quick overview of all the screens in Visual KPI. We're going to look at six main screen types today, and that's going to be roll-ups, KPI maps, scorecards, bar charts, trends, and alerts. First, let's take a look at roll-ups. They're right here in front of us. Now, these things are uh, uh, percentage bar charts, and they kind of summarize what's going on at a particular level. So each line on here is a roll-up bar chart, and if I mouse over it, Let's click on this and mouse over it. It's going to tell us on that level, there's 400 KPIs, or on this level, there's 75 KPIs. And this bar tells us that most of them are in the green state, or as you can see from the legend, they're in the good state. Some are not in service, some are high and low, but you kind of get a high-level view of what's happening uh, on your plants or your assets. Let's take a look at the next thing that you get. Let's click on one of these bars. And let's do the same thing over here on the mobile device. Now, what you're going to see is a realistic example of the response times you can expect on the mobile device, because that's a real piece of hardware. It's uh, connected here by a wire. But uh, it's using the GPRS or the edge network to get the data from our servers about 50 miles away. So this KPI map really expands that roll-up into two dimensions with a little bit more visible data. Uh, you've got the KPI name and the current value of that KPI. Now, over here on the mobile device, you can see you don't have all that same data. You've got to kind of click on it to see what's going on because there's not a lot of screen real estate for text that's readable. So uh, we have to resort to just to color coding it. But uh, you can always get at what's underneath the KPI by just clicking on it. Now, what are we going to look at next? The third type of thing I want to show you is uh, a scorecard. So let's go ahead and drill down into one of these scorecards. Let's do the same thing here. These scorecards really organize the KPIs in, in kind of a, a, a normal, um, you know, very easily read way where you've got the, the KPI name on the left, you've got the current state, whether it's high or low, uh, with uh, the shape color redundancy there. And then you've got a little spark line, uh, which shows you the recent trend activity, where that KPI has been and maybe kind of where it might be going, uh, actual and target values. Now you get the same data on both devices. Uh, just organized and formatted for the device that uh, that you're looking at. Now, these this is a very convenient way for people to keep all their most favorite uh, metrics in their pocket and uh, available at all times. So they know when they're looking at this that they are up to the second uh, and uh, um, have the latest data. So from here, we could look at bar charts, which give you the same data but organized a little bit differently. These bar charts kind of orient the KPIs for a quick assessment of whether they're in compliance with uh, the target values and the limits. So you can see the bar chart itself is the actual value of the KPI. And little carrots here uh, pointing up, those are the target values with the hash marks being the, the limits. Now from here or from anywhere else you see a symbol, you can go straight to what we uh, call the trend. So the trends are pretty cool because they tell you 
uh, in detail where that KPI has been. And you can do some really wild things here, uh, both on the desktop, you can do things like zoom in and out. Uh, and on the handheld, of course, you can not do that, but you can scroll back and forth, change the x-axis time frame, all kinds of stuff. So if we wanted to change this to a, a seven-day trend, well, we'd get a lot more data. We can do the same thing on the handheld device. And this, the response is pretty snappy. We're getting a, a lot of feedback from customers that this is a, an amazing amount of data in a short amount of time. So there you have it for a trend. Now, what happens when a trend crosses one of these boundaries is that we generate these things called alerts. So let's take a look at what an alert might look like over here. So we're going to close the browser and we're going to go look at email. Here's our Outlook email. And let's maybe take a look at an alert that happened, oh, let's say uh, a little, little while ago. So let's just take a look at this one. The alert consists of some text that tells you what happened. And remember, this is happening when the KPI value deviates from its expected behavior. And of course, it would just be the same as, uh, let's say, a pager, uh, except that we've got this extra context. So when you click on the link, it's going to build you a context for what happened to that KPI, and it's going to show you right where that deviation happened. So we can see that here, it's been bumping up and down for a little bit, but then it crossed that, that threshold right at that point. And we can drill in and see more detail if we need to. But what this gives you is the ability to make an assessment really quickly of whether or not you need to go take some action. Let's see a different alert. Same kind of thing. It's going to give you the idea of what's going on, give you the, the previous status and what it is now. And you get the context of that KPI. So you know, hey, right at that point is when it deviated and went across that line. So let's wrap it up. What have we looked at here today? Uh, we, we have got six screens that uh, uh, the Visual KPI gives you. These screens are all auto-generated for every device on the fly, so every person can carry around the, the metrics that matter to them. Since there's no screens to build, you also have the advantage of no maintenance to build those screens. So I hope this has been interesting, and if you like, continue to watch more of the detailed videos that are available on the transparent.com.